Company? How on earth did you get in here? Oh, please don't fret. I have no intention of making a meal of you. Please call me the Duke. I am but a humble merchant, purveyor of goods to lords and ladies, prophets and priestesses. I do so strive to please my patrons. I hope we can become well acquainted. But of course it is not I who is on display here, but rather the wares on offer for you. I deal in all manner of commerce, but today I trade in knowledge. This place is a veritable hoard of information, gathered from all throughout the realms of man. The more hard won the knowledge, the higher the price. But you look like you're well aware of the value of such things. Well, since we're here, I've got a few morsels I'd love to share with such a connoisseur. Please, take a gander. Happy half birthday, Rose. I just want to find my daughter. I'll always be there for you, no matter what. You are my precious Rose. And I didn't care. So long as we were together. Oh, Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. what he might have said to me. No matter. Your imminent demise is inevitable. I love you, but I won't let anything happen to Rose. I've got this! I'm Kento Kinoshita, the director of the Winter's Expansion. Ethan gave his life to protect Rose. And in the end, you see how she's grown. What kind of person is 16-year-old Rose? That's what we wanted to explore, so we decided to have her at that age in this expansion. He said you had something important to tell me? She's trying to get rid of her unwanted powers, but to do that, she is forced to return to the origin of her misfortune. We thought that concept had a lot of potential for an interesting story. So the setting this time is the realm of consciousness, going back one more time to that village. 
The word nightmare is synonymous with fear. For instance, if you've ever had a childhood fever that caused a nightmare, even if they only last for an instant, like the feeling of being attacked by a giant doll, or something else similarly so completely unrealistic, can remain as a fragment of a memory for the rest of your life. I wanted the core of the feeling of fear to come from the kind of memories and nightmares that still haunt people to this day. We wanted to choose characters that would interest people who didn't play the mercenaries mode, but would be interested in playing a different type of character. There are characters called lords, and playing as them allows you to perform amazing skills and attacks that a regular human could not. Being able to play them was more fun, so that's why we chose those characters. We balance things to ensure that as little time as possible is spent waiting for enemies to appear. For instance, if a player doesn't finish off an enemy, it will chase after the player. We made adjustments like this to raise the tempo and increase the fun of defeating enemy after enemy. In an FPS, you experience the game world as if it's through your own eyes. So it can be incredibly scary to play a horror game from that perspective. There are some players out there who might find it too scary or experience motion sickness in the first-person perspective. They might not enjoy the FPS genre. So we wanted to make a third-person mode for those players to enjoy the game to its fullest. While there's still a sense of immersion and fear with a third-person perspective, when the player character dies, it doesn't feel as much like you yourself are dying. And you can enjoy playing it as a game to confront the fear that it creates, which is a very different experience. I think third-person mode is a perfect way for people to return to Resident Evil Village, as both a game and an experience. Wouldn't it be okay to show Ethan's face? We gave that question some thought. So even in third-person mode, if you try to turn the camera to see his face, Ethan will look away, and you're not quite able to get a good look. Each of the three editions are interesting in their own way, and we hope you really enjoy the expansion. Please look forward to it. Thank you. Now we have an amazing announcement for you. Starting today, a demo for the third person mode will be available. Here is the release date and platforms for the demo. This demo can be played for a total of 60 minutes in third person mode or the previously existing first person mode. Mission adjustment? No. Doesn't change anything. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. Let's have some fun, people. Move out. Yes, sir. Okay. Resident Evil R Reverse is free content for those who own Resident Evil Village or Resident Evil Village Gold Edition. This game has crossplay, and you can fight players across all platforms. Those who already own Resident Evil Village will be able to participate in the early access period starting October 24th. Additionally, updates are planned for Resident Evil R Reverse after it has been officially released. Here are some details for the early access and updates. Also, Resident Evil Village will be playable on PlayStation VR 2. Hi, this is Akiyama from Sony Interactive Entertainment. 
Resident Evil Village VR mode, currently in development for PlayStation VR 2, will allow you to explore next-gen VR, making the ultimate immersive experience a reality. The VR mode in the previous title, Resident Evil 7, was well received by the world thanks to its stunning horror experience. And the VR mode in Resident Evil Village takes up the challenge to improve and enhance the same experience and bring it to the next level. The first biggest improvement is the visual enhancements. The VR mode in Resident Evil Village will support 4K HDR, which allows natural designs to be displayed in the intended colors to showcase the beautiful and bizarre world of Village. The intricacy of Village, shown in high resolution, made possible by the PlayStation 5, allows the users to take a closer look at the fine details of various objects and makes the game experience more immersive. There is also a significant improvement in latency. Compared to Resident Evil 7 on PSVR, both latency and responsiveness have been improved, elevating the VR experience as a whole. The second biggest improvement is enhanced immersive sound experience provided by Tempest 3D Audio Technology. Village uses ambisonics and object audio for presence and powerful sound. Playing on PlayStation VR 2 allows the VR headset movement and audio to be more closely synchronized and dynamically changes the feel depending on the player position and head movement for a more immersive experience. Another point of improvement is a more intuitive and realistic gaming experience using the PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller. Only the DualShock 4 was supported in the previous title, but Village now supports the PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller, allowing for more intuitive and flexible controls, making it feel almost as if you are really there holding the weapons that appear in the game. There are so many other elements in Village that we couldn't share today. Please look forward to Resident Evil Village VR mode, which allows you to capture amazingly realistic experiences with your eyes, ears, and senses. <laughs> How delightful! Such delectable information ought to be safer. What's that? You want more? <laughs> what a greedy thing you are. No, it's quite all right. I love to see a healthy appetite. I'll do my best to sate your hunger. Come, have a look at this. Hello everyone, I'm the producer of Resident Evil 4, Yoshiaki Hirabayashi. I'm here today to deliver the newest information about the title. First, please enjoy this new gameplay footage. Anyone home?
This is Gondor 1. Hunnigan here. What's your sit rep? The president's daughter, Baby Eagle. It's likely she's in this village. Our intel was correct then. Well done. Something's happened to the people here. My escorts are... <laughs> Gotta go. Talk later. What did you think? As you just saw, we are paying respect to the original game's world while implementing new ideas and state-of-the-art graphics to strengthen the core concepts of the title. We think this game will provide a fresh experience with a sense of familiarity if you played the original that both newcomers and veterans to Resident Evil 4 will enjoy. No fucking way. The Ganados will have all new ways to attack. They are closing in on Leon during his mission and will attack with an even greater variety of methods than in the original release. Leon fights back with firearms, close combat maneuvers, a newly added parry using his knife, and more. Resource management and upgrade elements are critical for survival. Just as in the original, using the attaché case effectively will be key. 
In addition to managing the weapons and items you carry and synthesizing herbs, this also allows you to craft ammunition and other items. Over here, stranger. Of course, we can't forget the merchant. Something new for you. You can purchase weapons and items and customize them to suit your playstyle. We've also added a trade mechanic where rare gems you've collected can be exchanged for special items. <laughs> you can't go wrong with that. We are rebuilding the original game while respecting its core experience, adding new ideas and modernizing the play field. Now I'd like to share some new information regarding this product's release. We announced that Resident Evil 4 will also be available to play on PlayStation 4 in addition to PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 4 version can be upgraded to the PlayStation 5 digital version at no additional cost. I'd like to introduce two other editions we are preparing for players looking for more than the standard edition. The first is the Deluxe Edition. This includes additional content such as costumes, special weapons, a treasure map, and more. Next is the physical-only Collector's Edition. This edition includes the contents of the Deluxe Edition as well as a Leon figure, a special map, art book, soundtrack, and more. Also, pre-orders start today. If you pre-order the Standard Edition, you'll receive the Attaché Case Gold and Special Charm Handgun Ammo. If you pre-order the Deluxe Edition or Collector's Edition, you'll receive the Standard Edition pre-order bonuses as well as Attaché Case Classic and Special Charm Green Herb. If you pre-order the digital version on the PlayStation Store, you'll receive a mini soundtrack. You can secure these bonuses by pre-ordering Resident Evil 4. Thank you for watching so far. We are working hard to create a game that everyone will enjoy. So please, look forward to it. Before I go, we have one more update for you. Let's take a look. You're here looking for someone? Maybe some missing senorita? Ashley, where are you? Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. Ah! You're in the president's orders and... What is that? What do we do? The last lamps are escaping. We need to go! Oh! I'm gonna get you home safe. You can stop right there. Ada. Who are you? And what are you doing here? My faithful disciple will show her the bag. Ashley, run! The entire world shall overflow with these grains. What's happening to me? <laughs> now, abandon your body. Leave the girl. She's lost no matter what. Now that he has chosen death. <sighs> oh, you gotta be kidding me.
Did you enjoy the Resident Evil Showcase? Let's recap. First, Resident Evil Village Gold Edition launches on Friday, October 28th. If you already own Resident Evil Village, you could purchase the Winter's Expansion DLC separately. The Winter's Expansion includes three additional modes. The third person mode, so you can enjoy the main game in a new perspective. The Powered Up, the Mercenaries Additional Orders, and the new story campaign, Shadows of Rose. Oh yes, a demo for the third person mode will be available today. Don't forget, the early access period for Resident Evil R Reverse begins October 24th for all owners of Village. Enjoy the extreme feeling of immersion when you play Resident Evil Village on PlayStation VR 2. We will have more announcements coming at a later date. The newest entry in the series, Resident Evil 4, will release on Friday, March 24th, 2023, and you can pre-order it today. We hope you look forward to it. Thank you very much for watching. Well, well, looks like you've had your fill. With such a grand display, I should hope so. Oh, I'm afraid I have an appointment I must attend to. Just a bit of bartering with another merchant. An odd chap, but his information is good. And I shouldn't say any more. Anyway, I do hope I'll see you again. I'll strive to prepare a suitably satisfying stock of goods. PlayStation.